Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I met another new mod today. This is called Blizzwallow. It's a mushroom tower. As you can see, we're starting on Solstein at Raven Rock, and this is the abandoned building. Yours might not look like this. I've got so many mods installed on this island, it's ridiculous. But I'll leave you a list of them in the description box if you're interested. Okay, so inside this building. I am in your way. I am sorry. Up the stairs, you'll find the book, which is the entrance to the home, and it's magical. So the first thing that struck me was, oh my god, I'm in Narnia, you know? That's what it felt like. I imagined coming through the wardrobe and into a forest. This is so beautiful, let me tell you. I've been around and about and explored a little bit. Got stuck on the landscape, fallen to my death, all the usual things, you know, like you do. Look at this, the sky is stunning. It's fascinating. You can't get into this one, by the way, but I uh, kind of wish you could. Ooh, it's lovely. <laughs> Now, neither Inigo uh, nor the wolf have come in with me, so that's a shame. I can certainly summon Inigo. Um, but Wolfie, she says no. So maybe that'll get updated. But as you come down this wonderful winding path, that's your home. Wow. Oh, by the way, there's a guard here right by the door as you come in. He's a follower. And he also has a couple of shouts. And then off to the right here, a couple more guards. Hi. Oh, it's so mysterious and magical and crazy. Look at that. It makes me want to go over there and explore. I want to see all this stuff, you know? Very intriguing. Looks like there's a castle in the background. And then just here you'll find a staff. Um, if you use that, it'll summon one of these knights to help you for a couple of minutes in battle. So this particular door takes you into the forge. Just a small room. But beautifully lit. Look at that. And it's got all your forging equipment and storage. Mannequin. And it's pretty groovy. I like it a lot. I like that it's away from the main residence in this case. I'll show you why. This mod, by the way, is by Aki and... Um, he or she did the Alaska ship player home that I was at the other day. And that was certainly very popular. I got a lot of really nice comments from people admiring that mod. So I'm sure this one's going to get just as many. Oh, it's fab. I mean, I love mushroom homes anyway. And this one has been really nicely set out. So it is just for you and followers. It feels very magical in here to me. Oh, look at that tree though. When you first come in and you, you see this, all those bookshelves. Pretty stunning. And to get down, you just float down. It actually drops you up here. Get out. So this is like a vault room, room for your treasure, a couple of mannequins, very Spriggan themed, you'll see them around and about, weapon storage etc. I love the touches of green, that tree with the lanterns is just oh, beautiful. So little kitchen with storage and a cooking pot. No oven, but look at the fire guard. How nice. I really appreciate those little touches. 
and your bedroom. So, not a chance in hell of me sleeping in here with that thing in it. Oh my god! Why would you do that to me? Put a spider in my bedroom. That's, I can't think of anything worse. If I know in real life that there's one in the room, I will sleep downstairs on the sofa. I'm not joking. So yeah, now I've been a drama queen about it. Uh, you may find that fine. There's your home teleport spell, by the way. And the bed looks great. It, you know, I have to be honest, it looks lovely and comfy. I like the deco. Look, there's his ship, the Alaska. Oh my god. I didn't even notice that when I was in here earlier. That is so nice. A reference to his earlier mod. And can I just say, look at those tiny lanterns. I mean, lovely. So, librarian staff. I think that summons um, a Spriggan. Where is it? There it is. Uh, a librarian matriarch permanently. Yeah, I think that's going to be a Spriggan because it's very said Spriggan themed in here. What do you think? This is lovely, isn't it? The colour is really nice. And I have just downloaded um, Imaginator. I haven't actually configured it yet. I'm just going to start to play with it this afternoon. Oh, this is so pretty. I am loving all this. All this foliage and greenery. Here's your alchemy lab. I love going through the curtain of ivy. So, bags of ingredient storage, potion storage. There's your alchemy lab, and look, some soils. That was the only one that was pre-planted, the canis root. And I just planted these others. A few grapes. So you can't un interact with these ladies, they're just here. Ooh, no. <laughs> that pulsing blob. What the heck? Fun. Okay, and as you come out, look at all these bookshelves. And there are actually three tiers of um, soils here. Unfortunately, they're kind of a bit too close together, so even with little plants, they're all very squished up. It'd probably be fine for just mushrooms, and I should have left it at that, but um, I just wanted to see what they would look like, and yeah, didn't really work with the actual flowers. So either, you know, Cut it down to two, maybe, or just plant mushrooms, Dark Star. That's that's all you need to do. And through here is your followers' quarters, so two double beds for them. Comfy and cosy. There are books everywhere. I like it. I like the whole theme. Oh, wow. Everywhere you look, though. What do you think about the lighting in here? I think it's amazing. So the scroll storage, that one doesn't go anywhere. If you see me walking past a ladder and you think I've missed something, that there isn't actually anything there. And here's your enchanting lab. And a staff enchanter up there. This I love. It kind of reminds me a little bit, just a little bit of the library in a laboratorium somewhere like that you know those split level libraries they are so lovely oh i really like this a lot or eek's uh, dragon's reach that's got a kind of split level where um secret fire lives i'm very fond of that i wish i had that in real life And then up here to a little tiny private library. So, yeah, do you know what I mean when I say it feels kind of magey and wizardy and scholarly to me? I'd like a little raven or something in there. <laughs> Never more. So, yeah, this is just... Terrific. I really like the coloration. I like everything that's been done with the inside and the outside. It's so unusual. And I'm all about 
different homes, you know? Alright, well I'm going to leave you with a gorgeous view from here and call that the end of this video. Thanks as always for watching. Please do let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.